working on our painting that is inspired by the artist Kristen Farr, who we just learned about in class. So I'm going to show you how to set this all up, but first I want to show you some examples of some finished work, um, just to give you an idea of what the project is going to look like when we're finished. So I just want to stress that these are just examples and that you can take this project really in any direction that you want. So here are some, um, a couple of examples that my students did last year. So you can see how we're working with a circle and with concentric circles. Um, and then we're also working with um, color mixing. So taking different colors and adding different amounts of white um, and sort of working with um, sort of an optical illusion type situation um, with our circle painting here. So that's one example. Here's another example. You can see how different the colors are. So the color choices are going to be up to you in this project. I have a couple that I made. Um, so this one, I deliberately chose to use sort of like a rainbow or a color wheel um, situation with the colors. And this one is a little bit different. So I just wanted to show you that you can kind of go off in a different direction with these. Um, if you notice, like from Kristen Farr's work, a lot of the work she did were with the concentric circles, but not everything. So if you kind of want to branch off a little bit and you have a plan, that's okay too. So I'm going to just get you started on how to draw this out. So I went over this a little bit already, but I just want to show you what I did here. So I drew in um, the concentric circles that went from 12 inches to two inches. So you're just going to be tracing your circles one inside the other from largest to smallest until you get to your two inch circle right here. Okay. And then as you can see, the other thing I did was around the big circle, I measured all the way around the circle and marked off every two inches with a ruler. Okay. So I simply got my ruler and put it down along the edge of the circle. And with my pencil, I put a line on every two inches all the way around the circle. So I can show you how to do that in class if you're having trouble with that. And then we're going to take your ruler, okay? And hopefully you guys can see this. The lighting is a little bit weird. We're gonna put a dot in the middle. And this does not have to be perfect, okay? When you draw these lines, they do not have to be perfect. So I'm going to go from my two inch lines down to the middle. So I'm going to line up with my ruler and I'm going to draw a line from the two inch mark to my middle. So I'm going to start to do this. You don't necessarily have to have it at the two inch mark. You could do one inch. They would be really small sections um, and you might be able to do other configurations as well. So that's up to you. I'm going to just quickly draw in these lines so we can start painting because that's sort of like the fun part and like i said you can have any type of structure to your painting as far as where you put the colors and what colors you use and what colors you blend together and i'm going to show you that in one minute so i just want to draw all of these in for you and this is what i'm doing right here Okay, so I'm just drawing lines from my center to the outside circle. Some people can do this freehand without having to measure first. I wanted to measure mine first, but if you're not much of a, of a perfectionist, you can definitely just draw them in on your own. And that can sometimes work. Okay, so this is my last line, and this is what I have, and I'm ready to paint. Okay, so the painting part can get a little tricky at first, so here's what you're going to do. I just chose a few colors to start off with, so I chose blue, orange, and purple, and I also have light in here because I'm going to be mixing my colors with white and making them get lighter as I go along. 
So I'm simply going to start with one of the colors. And when I do this, I usually tell kids to think of a staircase, okay? So you're gonna start somewhere, it doesn't matter where. So I'm gonna start down here at this bottom one. I'm gonna paint this really quickly. You guys can take your time a little bit more with yours, but for the sake of the video, um, I'm just gonna make it go quickly. This paint's a little thick, so if you wanna mix, mix it with a little bit of water, you can. Okay, so I just painted that in. Now I'm gonna pretend I'm going up a staircase. So I'm gonna go to my next section and I'm going to paint the next rectangle sort of to the side and up. So it's to the side and up, and I'll show you what I get. So we have that, okay? Then I'm gonna go to my next section to the side and up. Okay, so I'm painting in my blue. I'm just sticking with that blue for now. And I did that one. I'm gonna go to my next section and paint the next one up. So now I have that. And I have a couple more. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all done. So at this point, it might want to switch to a smaller brush because I'm really getting to those little spaces. I'm gonna kind of sneak it in. My last space is in that top, that little little circle, like that. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that blue I was just using and I'm going to lighten it with a little bit of white. So now I have a light blue and I'm going to paint with this light blue. So I started here, right? I'm going to go up one. So I'm going to paint the next spot a little bit lighter and it's gonna look like this. Then I'm gonna go to the next row and I'm also going to paint the space above my blue. And don't, you know, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm doing this quickly. You guys can be a little bit slower, but it does not have to be perfect. And then I'm going to go to my next row again and go up one, just like I did before. So there's like a logical kind of progression to this and think of it again as like a staircase. You're going up the stairs like that. I'm using that same color blue that I just mixed. I'm going up again. I'm going to do the last two for you. Well, I'll show you this one first. So I did that one, and as you can see, I'm getting to the middle, and there I go, I just finished that one, okay? Now I think I'm going to make a blue that's even lighter. So I'm going to take my paint, and I'm going to make an even lighter blue by adding more white into there. This one's really thick, so I'm going to add a little water to it. So I want to get even lighter in this one. And you're, I hope by now you're seeing what I'm doing. I'm sort of working in a pattern, okay? So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you this one and then I'll move on to another color. So I have that. And then I'm going again up into the side like a staircase. I'm gonna take more of my light blue, go up into the side. Up into the side and I'm done because it becomes easier. There's less every time you go up. So I can fit another light blue in there, okay? So 
So I can do another light blue and maybe even another light blue. Okay, so I'm not going to keep going because I want to show you one more color before the video is over. Okay, but hopefully you understand that I can put another light blue here and then it would keep going up. Okay, so you're going to keep working with that. Actually, I'm going to do it for you because I don't want you to be confused. So this one's going to have a very, very, very light blue. Like it's going to be pretty much white, but it's going to have just a teeny bit of blue in it um and let's see what i get so i'm gonna go up the staircase up the staircase i'm doing this all at once and up the staircase so i was only able to fit three of them in but i could go an even lighter blue after that okay but let's just leave it there see what we're see what we're gonna do next okay so next, I can pick a different color. Now, if you want to go in some sort of rainbow or ombre, you can pick different colors according to that. I'm going to just use orange because it's just a random color just to show you. You can use random colors or you can have more of a plan. It's totally up to you. So for this one, I, I think I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start in my empty space down here, okay? And like I said, I'm going to choose orange. So I'm going to paint my spot orange. And then I'm going to go up the staircase. So I have that. I'm going to go up my staircase. Go up again. Hopefully you can see this, what I'm doing. Go up again. And I'm going to go up again. And up one more until I can't go up anymore. So now I kind of have an orange staircase. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to work with orange and white because I kind of like that. Hopefully I have some white left. Oh, it's got a little blue in it. But we're going to be quick here. So, so I'm going to add some orange and some white. And I'm getting this right here. So now, instead of going up with my light colors, I'm going to go down with my light colors. So I'm going to start working underneath my orange and doing my staircase. So I have a space under this orange. I'm going to fill that one in. So I'm starting here, and then I have a space under my next orange. So I'm going to lighten it and go here, do my light orange. And now I'm going to go to my next space, and I'm going to just keep going. So now I'm underneath my orange with the lighter orange. And then what do you think? I'm going to be doing after I finish this one. Well, hopefully you said that I'm going to be going even lighter. So I'm going to take my orange, add more white to it. So here we go. So the next thing I'm going to take my orange, add more white, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, and go here. Okay. So I keep going up. Oops, I forgot one. Get that one in. Like that. Okay? And you can just keep going with this. You can just keep going with a whole bunch of different colors. And that's exactly what the kids here did. Okay? So that's just the basic way to do it. But there are other ways to do it. Like I said, you could have a rainbow. I also have black and white in this one, so like to make it gray, you can do stuff with black and white mixed together. I have this one where instead of doing it in every section, I did every other, and then I put the black and white in between. So there are so many different things you can do, okay? Have fun!